your Storm Tracker Team forecast with Kevin Smith. Hey, good Thursday morning, everyone. We begin live here with that sky cam showing the cloudy sky. And in the distance, we are seeing some lightning strikes, so be aware of that. We see the Doppler, a little bit of some activity across the area. We're going to zoom in toward the north as some showers are now popping up. Even some lightning strikes as you make your way toward the state line. You folks in St. Francisville saw a little bit of some shower activity. Uh, Jackson now seeing it. Clinton as well seeing some light to moderate rainfall. Then the activity that's moving in from the southwest. Donaldsonville now picking up in rainfall. You folks in Gonzales as well as on Port Vincent. Be aware you're going to be seeing some shower and thunderstorm activity within the next 30 minutes or so. Let's broaden this out to show you more of this. It's still off toward the west and southwest, and with the sea breeze and the southern flow very active, plus we have a warm front moving in. The coverage will continue to increase throughout the late morning into the afternoon. We're currently dealing with the dew points now into the upper 50s, lower 60s. Remember yesterday I said the dew points would get a little higher, as well as the temperature is right now at 62. It's 66 Gonzalez and we're 63 into Hammond. So we have our weather aware day in effect. Moisture will continue to linger as well as disturbances, which means stormy into next week like the song. So what we're expecting right now, we're seeing the scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. We have an area of low pressure uh, that's moving toward the folks into northeastern Texas. And then beyond that, we have another storm system that's moving toward the west coast. So here we go with the uh, future cast we're expecting for today. Scattered to isolated showers continuing. That will also continue into the late night into the early morning. And then with some daytime heating tomorrow, we'll see, continue to see the scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. So precipitation amounts still around an inch or so as we move toward today. Then we will continue to see waves on Friday. Saturday and then the final big push will happen on Sunday into Monday. You see the rainfall totals encompassing almost four inches of rainfall. So if you live in a flash flood zone, remember to stay off those roads and turn around. Don't drown. So here we go with the SBC has us under that slight risk for today with the heavy rainfall potential, some damaging winds, and even that threat for isolated tornadoes on Friday, a general thunderstorm risk. So we go with a 75 degree temperature today with that southeasterly wind. This evening, we're dropping it down to 65 rain chances continuing. Seven day forecast, once again, very stormy for the weekend. And finally, now on Monday, the front will move through. We clear it out and warm it back up into the lower. 80s. By the way, we have the Skeeter meter brought to us by Salvent holding in at high levels for the next few days. We have your latest weather updates on BRProud.com, Facebook, Facebook Live, as well as Twitter.